That's actually where I was going to start. Oh, good idea. Nice. I, so, I, I just want to see the squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> you get into one. You get into one. We're doing uh, a. Wait, wait, they're so studying. They're, they're studying. They're, they're figuring this out. <laughs> Beginning to rehearsal one, cornets and percussions. Short story. <laughs> Most of you probably don't know this thing. But Don Ellis was, in, one, in my opinion, one of the most significant underrated musicians of the 20th century. He happened to be a jazz trumpet. And uh, uh, he played with Alice Cooper and others uh, in reading sessions recording reading session. He didn't play with them regularly, but on the recordings he did. And he talked in clinics about sight reading. And he said they were always blown away about how well I read a piece. Unbeknownst to them, every second that we weren't recording, I was looking at the, the pieces that were going to be recording. And it was the third or fourth or fifth time that I played it by the time we got to the recording session. So that's just, that's it. An incredible professional at the top of his game, not relying on that notion of reading down. Could he? Oh, yeah. But I mean, he didn't take that chance. And the recording studio is expensive. If you don't know that name, it's a very simple name to remember Don Ellis, E L L I S. Very uh, forward thinking, especially rhythmically in time and conceptual in the jazz. Well, conceptual thinking was different than what was going on and different than what is going on. That, that it's worth buying a CD and listening to. So, end of story. Thank you. Let's give it all in. Now that you bought the trumpets a little bit of time. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Did I waste enough time for him? We'll find out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and Thank <laughs> you. 
heat up. I'm going to heat up just a little bit. Wake the little brains up. All right. Yeah, take a picture. Anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> 